Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to show you the products that I finished up. This is long, long overdue. I have a huge Sephora bag that is like filled to the brim. If time permits, I'll go ahead and run through all of it. Otherwise, I'll probably just split this video up into two different parts and I'll upload the other one like in three weeks or so. So before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that when you are watching this video, I am fixing to head out of town for Easter weekend. So I'm going back home to spend Easter with my mom. Well, the family and I, the kids and I really, my husband has to work unfortunately, but so we're going over there and she has no internet. So I want to let you know that for today's video and Saturday's video, I will reply to comments next week when I get back home. We'll be back on Sunday night. So probably Monday I'll reply to your comments. So don't think that I'm ignoring you. If you have a question, I will be available via Twitter. So I'll just use my phone internet for like Twitter, Instagram, and I'll probably watch like a video or two, but not too much because it's using my cell phone internet. So please feel free to comment like you normally would. Just know that I won't reply until Monday. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pull stuff out of random. The first item is the Burberry Beauty. This was a sample that I received in my Nordstrom order, and it's the Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. So the actual product looks like this, and this is basically an illuminator or luminizer that you can wear on top of your foundation or mixed in with your foundation. And I have to say, I really, really liked it. I feel like my skin looked really fresh and dewy and definitely like had a little bit of luminosity so I really really like this I am still trying out different liquid highlighters and so I'm kind of like in the search for, on the search for the perfect one but I do want to say that if you like high-end stuff and luxury type stuff and you're looking for a great luminizer and you don't mind spending the money I would definitely definitely recommend this one Okay, next is a Purpose Gentle Cleansing Wash. I keep this in my shower. I use it every single night without fail. I wash my face twice, and this is what I use. This is all I use in the shower. It just removes everything. I've been using this for, gosh, over two years now, and I've talked about how I love using a cleanser that I can actually use over my eye area to remove all my eye makeup as well. I love this face wash. It does not irritate my skin and it does everything it's supposed to do and it's pretty affordable so it's the purpose gentle cleansing wash okay next is the pure paradise by bath and body works this is the shower gel i love the way the body spray smells and the body lotion however i am a huge huge caress fan i love their body washes that's pretty much all i rotate through in the shower but i did because i love the scent so much i decided to try the shower gel and unfortunately i will not repurchase this one because I feel like it was very, very drying to my skin. I feel like the next morning, like my legs were just really, really dry. So I didn't find that it was very moisturizing at all. I love the scent in general though. So as long as they carry the scent, I would definitely like repurchase the body lotion and the body spray. But as far as shower gel goes, I think I'm just gonna stick to Caress because that works. Okay, next is a household item. It is the Abbey Essence Sandalwood Vanilla. This is the Wax Fragrance Cubes. And you can find these at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can see that they're $2.99. These work amazing. They're so strong. I have to go back and get more. But they last for such a long time. So I love these. If you have any of those type of burners, I would highly recommend that next time you go into Bed Bath & Beyond, if you have one near you, that you check these out because these are really great. So definitely, definitely a repurchase for me. Okay, so I have some top coats to share with you. First is the Deborah Lippman Addicted to Speed. So this one is almost empty. It's really, really hard to get to the bottom. Unfortunately for me, this, I mean, it dried pretty quick and it's not really I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Probably not. It's not really goopy like Sesh Vite gets once Sesh Vite is older. But I don't feel like it gave me the shine that I wanted. So for that reason, I will not repurchase. The Orly Second Dry. I love this top coat. I'm currently using, I'm currently using another one that I really, really do like. But I would highly recommend the Orly Second Dry. It has a really, really nice shine finish. It dries pretty fast, fast enough for me. And this is like definitely a repurchase. The next is the Poche, Poche, I have no idea, top coat. Looks like this. You can find it at Sally's. This one was okay. Again, I don't feel like it was as shiny as I would like, but it's just okay. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, I guess. So it's okay. I won't repurchase though. 
And then lastly is a base coat that's absolutely awful that I would not recommend. And it is the Color Club Stuck on You. So you can see it's pretty full. Now I use this about five times with different nail polishes. I use this with the Maybelline Color Show and less than 24 hours, my nail polish was chipping so bad. So I thought it was the Maybelline Color Show. And it very, very well maybe, I don't know because I haven't tried those with a different base coat, but I know with this base coat they were peeling like crazy. Like my nail polish was just chipping by large chunks. I don't mean like a little wear here and there. I mean like large chunks of polish were falling off. It was absolutely horrible. So then I tried this with, um, I think it was an Orly nail polish. Did the exact same thing. Less than 24 hours later, large chunks were coming off. And then I can't remember what the other nail polish was. I I used it twice with the Maybelline Color Shows, once with the Orly, and then I used it a couple more times with different brands. I can't remember which ones. Same thing happened. So I just have to think that it's the base coat. So for me, this one is definitely like a fail. Don't repurchase it. Don't recommend it. Okay. Then we have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Is that what it's called? Yes, Instant Age Rewind Treatment. And this one is the Brightener, I believe. Yes, number 60, the Brightener, which is a pink-toned brightener. And I personally, I really don't prefer a pink-toned brightener. I think it's okay. Like, I have my mood sometimes where I do want to use something pink and then other times where I want to use, like, a lighter beige or a yellow-based color. So I kind of, it kind of just varies by my mood. But I really, really do like these in general. I love the neutralizer. I think these are fantastic products. I am not crazy thrilled about the packaging as far as this little stick goes because I don't know if you can tell. Yes, you can. But there is plenty of product there. And as much as I keep twisting it, it's not coming up. So I actually don't mind the sponge tip. I actually really like it, but I wish that the product would continue to come up and out so that I can truly like finish this product, but I'm not gonna like break into it or saw it off or anything like that. That's just crazy talk. So I really do like this. I would repurchase it. And I think this is just as good as like any high end alternative. Okay, next is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion in Deep Dark Color, and it's just a little too orange for my skin tone and my legs, more orange than I would like, so for that reason, I'm just going to toss it, I'm not going to finish it, and I'm not going to repurchase it. Okay, I have two contact solution things right here. So I have the Walgreens Multi-Purpose Solution, and... I don't know. I mean, it works fine, but the Up and Up brand, the multi-purpose solution from them is much more inexpensive. And I feel like when I use this compared to other ones that I've tried, I don't know when I use this the way I'm supposed to, the way you're supposed to clean your contacts, like my contacts are so easy to put on the next morning without any irritation. I feel like it does an amazing job at like really removing all the protein and the dirt and all that other good stuff. So I really like this one. It's really inexpensive and I would definitely repurchase it. I've repurchased it a couple of times actually. So really like that. Then I have a Marc Jacobs number 34 is my shade. This is the gel foundation and I don't remember exactly how I felt. I don't think I was that impressed, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't really remember, so I don't know. I need to maybe try another one out. Okay, then two Batiste dry shampoos. I love these for, 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 I always say fur. I love these for refreshing my hair, like on second day hair, but I've talked about in a recent favorites video. I'll link it down below. But I've talked about how I don't really like it for like really giving me volume and keeping that volume in my hair until I shower that night and shampoo it out. So I love Batiste. I love this scent in particular. It just smells like clean and feminine. It smells really, really good. So for refreshing and reviving my hair, I do love it, but I do find that for like volumizing goes, I prefer something else. So this is the Floral and Flirty Blush, and these two were purchased at Ulta. I buy them when they're on sale, but also I have found them at my TJ Maxx, and so when I find them there, I stock up on them because I think they're like $4.99 or something like that. So if you have a TJ Maxx and you love Batiste, make sure to, to check there and see if you can get any. 
um, that are much more or less expensive. Okay, the Ardell 120 Demi Lashes. I like them, but I really just wear them for filming. These are really good, like if you wanted um, them to be a little bit more noticeable. So I will repurchase them for filming purposes, but that's probably about it. So next we have some makeup products. I have the Dior Show Blackout. And I really like Dior mascaras. I don't know. There's something about them that I like. But, and my favorite one is the Ecstasy. Is that, I think that's how you pronounce it. This one, however, I'm not thrilled about. And I don't know if it's because I just got a crappy sample or what. But if you can see, let me put this down. They're kind of, the bristles are kind of like smushed and kind of, I don't know, you can see like from the top here to right here, it's just very odd. And right here it seems pretty normal, but on this side it's just kind of, I don't know, crappy. So because of that, I did not like this mascara. I just didn't feel like it was comfortable. And I don't know, like I said, I could have gotten a bad one because I really do like Dior mascaras that I've tried, the Iconic and the Ecstasy. Next is the Pacifica. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I took an allergy pill this morning, but it's taking forever to kick in for some reason today. Goodness gracious. Okay, so the Pacifica Coconut Pearls Luminizing Lip Quench. I do not feel like this is moisturizing whatsoever. It's supposed to have like this little pearl finish and smell like coconuts. Ugh, it smells like cheap plastic coconut to me. I know, I, I don't know how the other Pacifica Coconut smells, scents smell like, I guess is what I'm trying to say because I know some people really like them, but as far as the lip balm goes, it just smells cheap to me. Oh, this is like a fail for me. I would not personally recommend it. I think you can get better lip balms that are definitely much, much more moisturizing than this. All right, so that will do it for this empties video. So if you're still around, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate all of your support, your kindness, your tweets, your Instagram comments. I just love you all to pieces. So thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend. Don't forget that you can always connect with me via Instagram and Twitter. It is Prissy Loves Pink. That information's always down below in the description box. I also always include what I'm wearing on my face, like what my makeup is, what my nail, what I'm wearing on my nails, that kind of thing. So I hope that you guys uh, have a great weekend and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.